I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometric equations. We have learned most of the concepts to solve trigonometric equations. In this video, we'll learn some extended techniques to solve linear trigonometric equations. The question before us is 20 sine 20 degrees minus 2x is equal to 3. We have to solve this in the domain where x is between 0 to 360 degrees. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, whenever you are given equations of this form, first thing is we should understand the argument. Let me rewrite the question as 20 sine of will factor out minus 2. When you factor out minus 2, you get x minus 10 degrees. Perfect. Equals to 3. Now, sine of a negative number is negative, right? So, so we could write this as minus 20 sine of 2 times x minus 10 degrees equals to 3 or we can write this as sine of 2 times x minus 10 degrees is equal to negative 3 over 20. Now we are given the domain 0 to 360 degrees. Let's work on this domain now. So we are given x as between 360 degrees and 0 degrees. But here, what do we see? We see 2 times x minus 10. So what we can do here is, first we take away 10. So we get x minus 10 degrees. Taking away 10 gives us 350 degrees. And now we multiply by 2, so we get minus 20 degrees, 2 times x minus 10 degrees, and that gives you 700 degrees, right, twice. So for the argument 2 times x minus 10, our domain is now minus 20 to 700 degrees. Is that clear to you? So now we can find what is this 2 times x minus 10 degrees equal to. It is sine inverse of minus 3 by 2. Now, in such cases, it's a good idea to really look into the solution in this fashion. Uh, okay, let's uh, use the space here in between. When we are saying negative number, that means we are expecting the solution here. That is where we are expecting, correct? So let's find the acute angle. So we'll do the sine inverse of uh, minus 3 by 2. Minus 3 divided by 2. And what we get here is... Sorry, 3 divided by 20. I got an error. 3 divided by 20. Okay. So we'll do shift sine inverse minus 3 divided by 20. And that gives you minus 8.62. Let me write down. So one answer which we get here is minus 8.62. So that is one of the answers which we get. Now, minus 8.6269 is within our domain. So that is perfectly fine. What could be the other value? So the other value will be all this. Do you see that? How much is that? You can think about the acute angle being 8.6. So this is 180 plus 8.6. Correct. 
So that is how you can look into this particular solution. So, so the angle which we are looking into is 1 is minus 8.62 and the positive angle will be this, which is going to be equal to 180 degrees plus 8.62, let's say 7. Correct? So that is what we have. Or you can say 186, 188.6, 627, and here we have minus 8.627. Is that clear to you? So those are the two angles which we have. Now period for sine is basically 360 degrees. So we can add 360 degrees to this to get the other results. So when I add 360 to each, what do we get? 360 minus 8.627 gives us 351.373. If I add 360 to 188.627, I get what? I get 548.673. Now we can go up to 700. So let me add 360 again. Well, clearly, if I add 360, it will go above. Perfect. So, so we get only these four valid solutions. Is that clear to you? So we can now write that the solution for this equation is 2 times x minus 10 degrees is equal to these four, which is minus 8.627 or 188.627 or let me write down here, or these two. So x minus 10 degrees is equal to divide them each by two. So half of them, so 8.627 divide by 2 with a negative sign gives you minus 4.3135 and here 188.627 divided by 2 gives you 94.313 in this case 351.373 divided by 2 gives us 702 point divided by 2. So I did something wrong. So let's divide and rewrite. So we get 351.373 divided by 2 is equal to 175 .686, 0.627 when divided by 2 gives us 274.313. But we need what x is, so we are going to add 10. So when you add 10 to this, you get 6.3135. That gives you 104.313. 3 this gives you 185.686. That gives you 284.313. You can clearly see that it is within our domain up to 360. Correct? Now, at times, you may have, let's say, round to hundreds. So let's say round to hundreds. So we'll round to hundreds. So in that case, let me rewrite our answers round to hundreds as x equals to 6.31 degrees, 104.31 degrees, 185.69 degrees, and 
three one degrees. So these are the four solutions in our case. I hope that makes sense. Go through these steps once again. Try to understand the concept. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.